Hey guys, me and RNG's out here installing these speakers. We are? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, we already got one installed. Yeah, we got one. I think we did that before the intro. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoops. Uh oh. We did that on purpose. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Let me brighten it up for you. It looks brighten sweet. It up for you. Look at that. We got one in. Now we're going to do the back. Do the back one and then. Do you think we'll get the uh, subwoofer and the amp installed today? We can try. We maybe not hooked up, but just get it in there anyways. Yeah, because that speaker went in there pretty easy. It wasn't too bad. All right, guys. So you got your wish. Miss RNG is out here helping with the build. And I wait a minute. I didn't have to beg you or plead or anything. I just said, hey, do you want to go help me with these speakers? And you're like, you yeah, let's go. <laughs> she, she even carried one of the speakers out and was out here before I was. Am I lying? No. No, she's super excited about this build, guys. Finally, finally a build that's not all welder related and grinder related and that she, she won't mind doing. So we don't have to cut and weld on this build as most of the things that she's going to help with is going to be bolt on. There are, I'm not going to spoil it, but there are maybe some weldable. Shh. What? Quiet. What? What do you mean quiet? I'm just throwing a, as you would call it, a teaser. Well, no. Yeah. Well, yeah. We don't want too many though. We don't want too many teasers. No. No. But. So she's going to help with everything that's bolt on and, and easy to do. And I'll probably get her out here to help me pull the cam. Don't say anything. What? Nothing. What about the... No. Just just stop talking about what you're doing. Okay. I'll just stop talking. I'll go in the house. You, I won't get this done for you. No, please. What? Just no more spoilers. I'm trying not to. Okay, we'll move on with the speaker. I was telling them that I was going to ha have you help me. You can't even recover from that. Can't recover from that one. No, can't <laughs> recover from that one. So, are you ready to get the other one installed and then we can start figuring out where we want to put the subwoofer and the amp? Yes. Hmm, I guess we better get started on that. Thank you guys for stopping in and watching. Make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Laura is enjoying these videos. I, weird. Because I can't never get her to come on. I don't know about you sometimes, girl. But nonetheless, I'm super happy that I finally got something in this garage you're going to enjoy working on. Mm-hmm. Shaking your head. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, guys, this is going to be a huge build. You ain't going to see another one nowhere on the planet. It's going to be huge. Like, I'm, I'm hoping that it even gets to see the trails next year. It will. I'm, we're out here working hard. Mm-hmm. Because we want... We want to get it built and get it riding yes, just we're as ready. fast as you guys do. We're, we're super ready. excited. But we also don't want to rush through it as it's content for the channel. Or I could rush through it and then just make these guys wait like two weeks at a time. Oh, that me. would be mean. That wouldn't be mean. That, that's what Walking Dead does to everybody. <laughs> it's over now. Or what about the Santa Claus movie? Yeah, the Santa Claus series. The Santa Claus series. All right, well, I guess we can pop that baby on a tripod and uh, get this installed. Right? Okay. Okay. I ordered you some of the best tweeters on the market. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to sound like a certain company when I say the best, but ask any audio expert. DS18 is really good stuff. Yeah. So I ordered you some tweeters 
that are going to be freaking loud. Oh, geez. Freaking loud. I mean, I don't think those are going to go I anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere. I really They're don't. They're up there. Do that bolts. again. I was skeptical. I don't think it's going bolts, anywhere. But I got big fat washers up on the roof. And we're going to put silicone up there around the, the bolts because I don't want water getting down in the speaker housings. All right, guys. So we got our kicker subwoofer. This thing is 600 watt peak, 300 RMS. We're only going to be pushing like 120 to 150 to it. Um, I'm not going to take it apart and rewire it unless it's just not loud enough. Then I might. One thing I wanted to talk about, though, is it comes with multiple mounting brackets. So you can have a bracket on this side and a bracket on that side and stand it up like a beer keg, right? And mount it in your trunk or wherever. This is marine, so it can be on a boat or anything. But what I like, and I'll show you, is it comes with these plastic, um, I don't even know what they're called, but But anyway, they come with those, and then you put this on. Well, you mount this in your car, and then you put this on, and then there's bolts here in the side that will lock it in place so it can't come out. So let's get that installed. So you got that mounted down. Now we just take this, set it in there, and lock it in place. She That's won't go anywhere. That's cool. But then you just lock it in place, which we're not gonna lock it in place because I still gotta hook up the amp wires. Now as for the amplifier, I think the amplifier is gonna have to go on this side. Well, it could probably mount up there. It could probably mount up there. I don't like how flimsy this storage box is. <laughs> it's really flimsy. It is. Yeah, we got that going on, installed. Now we got to get the amp in there. Got to figure that out. Well, guys, we actually got our wire in today. Yeah, we ain't going to run out for a hot minute. All these builds that I seem to like to do. So I went ahead and I added it um, to the speaker wires. Now one thing is, I got the wrong tweeters. The tweeters I got are one inch voice coil tweeters. They're almost three inches around. The tweeters would work, but the magnets are so big on them, they won't go in the holes. So I must have misread something. That's my fault. I was kind of like in a hurry, be whatever. So we're gonna work on that. But my goal for this video is to Get these hooked up temporarily and make sure the system is working. I got a battery. We're going to put a second battery in. Um, we're going to use an older battery that I have just for testing purposes today. And then um, as soon as I get a chance this week, I'm going to go and get me a good battery. But I'm going to show you where we're going to mount that battery and all that stuff. So my goal for this video is to get this hooked up and just kind of go over it make sure it works before we give these wires a final resting place and get them all cleaned up and, and looking real good. I know a lot of you guys are asking about the head unit. What head unit are we going to use? As it stands right now, the amp has a built-in Bluetooth. We'll have to see how that works and how good it sounds. If it don't sound that good, then we'll be figuring out a head unit. There's plenty of room to put a head unit in this rig. So without further ado, let's get this hooked up to this amp. All right, guys, now that we got it tested and make sure it works, now it's time to clean up the wires and make them look good now. I'm not completely done because I still have to wire in the LEDs, but I want to kind of get everything set, and then tomorrow maybe I'll get out here and wire in the LEDs and start wiring in the amp. that would be like next video type thing. But I wanted to show you guys where I want to mount the wires right here. Boom. That, sh that should be a nice safe hole. Water shouldn't get in there. If it does, there's drain holes. Now this wire is going to come up over here real nice, come down and right down in. And then everything's going to be buttoned up real nice in there. All right, guys. So we got these wires all cleaned up. We left these out. 
because I got to add on for the LEDs. We're going to, everything that we're going to wire into this buggy is going to be essentially in here. We're going to try and make it as clean as possible for everything and just have it all in a centralized location. So the LED uh, controllers that we got for these are going to go in there and they run off the same app as what the rock lights do. And in one of these videos, we'll be installing our control panel where we can put power to all this stuff. So there's there's a lot to this and it's going to be quite the videos, but I don't want to make them long and boring. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out my website, www.rngperformance.net. As of this video, we have wheel spacers for the U-Force 1000s, the U-Force 1000 XL, and we have lift kits also, as, long as, as well as clutch kits, and we have the switch panels and all kinds of stuff. We got air filters now, so definitely check that out. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.